Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We are here in the World Tree on level 3 Alioth I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly apparently the various levels and locations in the world tree are named after the stars in the Big Dipper so I have been told in my experience If I just walk through the middle there, those two things aggro on me. And as long as they're aggroed on me, I can't hit the button on the elevator. Alright, let's get rid of the sentry. Don't be afraid, friends! Just watch your step, Zora! We need to find some tougher enemies next time. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, walk through the middle of that and they both aggro on me. If I just take one of them out, that ought to give me the space I need to bypass the other one. Don't be afraid, friends! You show Salvaging Mastery Blades either have access to level 3 or have reached level 3. Okay, let's send them off on another one. This is a delivery request for best desserts. We'd like to take you we'd like you to take this delivery to Argento. You need my help? Gorg. I'll support you in every way. Bess. Mercenaries have a sort of bad rep, don't they? Leaping, huh? Oh. 
course he has that. I withdraw reluctantly. So does a Gian, but his affinity chart's maxed out. Does anyone else have that? Okay, Zenobia does, but she's in the party. Finch. Okay. And let's see, someone else. Let's see. I should probably just dismiss the other salvaging mastery blades who can't get up to level three. They're kind of in the way, unfortunately. Okay, let's send her. What, guys? We'll be the voracious Vanguard. Hey ho! Just remember to have fun. Okay, twenty-one minutes. All right, and up we go. Kind of nervous, actually. I don't know if I can actually handle what's up ahead. Oh, this is a long elevator ride. Nearing the top. The numbers are the numbers on the compass are slowing down. Here it is. There's a cutscene first, though. I forgot about this. What do you see? What do I see? I see a bunch of people struggling to stay alive. Same as almost everyone else on Allrest right now. Zeke, have you ever taken a person's life? Can't say I have. Never seen the need for it myself. Oh? Why does anyone kill others? Because they're in your way, or because you can't bear the sight of them? You kill because you're weak. But I'm not weak, so I don't need to kill anyone. And I don't mean physically, yeah? I mean in here. I suppose that makes me weak then. But that weakness is why I'm standing here today. So you hate them, humans. No. I hate this world. Chunks. Huh? Do you like this world? Uh, what? Just give me a straight answer. Yeah. Sure, there's plenty of room for improvement. But then, there's also plenty of stuff that's awesome. What about us? Huh? Oh, I think Shalad's about to propose. What? Fleabag! I mean, how do you feel about us? People? Whew. I was worried then. You should be so lucky. Anyway. What's your answer? Ooh, that's a tough one. People can be fun to be around, but sometimes they're hard to deal with. And then there's mean types, like that banner. For sure. But... Life's about taking the good with the bad, right? So yeah, I like people. And... 
I like myself and I'm people. All right, big head. <laughs> I see. Well, that's you all over. I'm relieved. What? Well, hmm? suppose a guy who hated himself had the power that you do. If someone like that were to meet the architect, I wouldn't be surprised if they wished for the whole world to disappear. It keeps coming back to that. Rex and... Uh, Dora, Zeke just there. Take a peek in here. my experience. I have that insight about Amalthus. And Rex because they're both Aegis drivers. And Zeke because he was an envoy for Amalthus and Indol. Coming up is no joke, even considering that I'm pretty massively overleveled. Uh, hmm. Oh, Rex has two ether cannons equipped. That I was wondering about what was going on in that last fight. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I'm going to switch Nia. And then have Rex take her instead of... Uh, Sheba. Showtime! Okay, so that gives us a healer. And keeps the... Um, um, elements, the elementals set up the same. And hmm, I'm wondering if I should bring Rex into the lead of the party or stick with Tora. I think I'll stick with Tora and see how it goes. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Okay. This is going to be pretty tough. I'm not the greatest at this game. Or its battle system. But, nothing for it. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> that kind of broke the tension a bit. Anyway, nothing for it. But to... Forge on ahead. What's up, Jin? So this is where it ends. Huh? You say something? No. I'll stay here. You go fulfill our goal. What are you saying? We promised we'd go together, didn't we? We did, once. You okay? I'm just waiting. For the boy. I was told to wait. I'll be watching. All of you. Are you sure? I am. I don't believe we ever know what he actually says there.
But it's kind of strange, the bond that's forged between those two. Considering how they started out back in the Aegis Wars, polar opposites. Hey, you! You wouldn't happen to be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... From the Territorial Defense Corps! It's you! What? Oh, I remember him well. Even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool. If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes! The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House? This long war for independence will soon come to an end. It is not only the war that will soon be over. Her life, too, is about to end. And when she meets her end, so too will I. Unsullied by her death, I will merely return to my core to await my eventual reawakening. I will sleep as at the end of any other day. When I awake, will I be the same person as before? If the architect does indeed exist, I wish I could ask him, who am I truly? Whence did I come? Whither am I headed? If I were a praying man, I pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. <sighs> my, how terribly desolate. I heard it's been 90 years, but... What is it? Did you remember something? No. It's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learnt about the old you. I am... who I am. I do not change. Sounds like an unintentional truth he spoke right there. He was trying to deflect. You came. Jin. Are you alone? Where's Malos? He went ahead. Well then, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. For us? Are you trying to stop us going after Malos? Perhaps. I want to see for myself. If this world has any will of its own, which one would it choose? You or Malus? Then you should let us pass. 
That I cannot do. But why? In your state, you should barely be able to stand. You know, if we fight now, you'll... You see right through me, Mithra. But I made a promise. I'll do whatever it takes to fulfill this desire. Even if it means your death? Gladly. Jin. Rex said he's basically looking for a way to die. It looks like we won't get past without a fight. Chum, it seems so. We'll give it all we've got. Come on! As it should be. Come at me, boy! Dora will beat them no problem! you rolling smash! See Okay, I actually got the driver car. I from the architect. Why do you wield it for mortal sake? To get to Elysium. And then what? Open it up to humans? Share it out between them? Do you even need to ask? Obviously. And then what? Can't you see where that leads? What are you saying? Humans will make Elysium into another Mortha. Just as they did with Torna 500 years ago. I won't let that happen! And after you die, what then? Who will stop the inevitable? Isn't that... Isn't that the reason that you blades exist? What? And when I'm not around to stand by you in that effort... Someone else will! That's right. When a person dies, that's it for them. But their thoughts and memories will always be passed on to someone else. Isn't that the same with you, Blades? Your past selves get passed down to someone else to become your new selves? 
Isn't that how you've always lived? We're no different. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. Always. Blades become titans when the time is up. And those titans give birth to many new blades. All while forming the world beneath our feet. It's awesome. It's enough to make me envious. Envious? Of us? So I'd like to ask the architect. Pyra, Mithra, all of you. Why did he create all these incredible people? Actually, I think I might already know the answer. But I'd still like to check with the man himself. To check your answer? Yeah. You... believe you know the reason we exist? <laughs> Jin! Akos. Petroka. Petroka? I won't let you kill Jen. Stand down, Petroka. But... It is over for us now. There is nothing more. We've done all that we have to. Jin. Nia? M me? Your power. Can you use it on Jin? Well, sure. It'll only be a temporary measure, but... Don't expect any thanks. <sighs> we'll go back first and prep Jin for treatment. Akos, make yourself useful. Yeah, yeah, I got him! <gasps> Pedroka! <gasps> You will climb no further. What? Amalthus? Here? And why does he look like that? If the Architect did send Blades down to this world, it was for my sake. To find and raise cores containing more powerful, wondrous, unparalleled data. That is why I created the cleansing procedure. Behold the culmination of my work! You lunatic. He took the cores from all those blades. So that was the reason for the cleansing. I am an agent of the Architect's will. What is he seeing? Delusions of grandeur. You can't just decide stuff like that, dude. You're out of your damn mind. It is no delusion. Have you forgotten the Aegis's power? That power. Is it not the Aegis's power to erase worthless things from existence? Is that not the Architect's very will? Pyra and Mithra aren't like that. I just realized. I know why Malos is so intent on scouring the world. It's you, Amalthus. Malos has become tainted by your influence. So what if he has? What's the problem? You've had your little trip around all rest. You've witnessed the state of Moritha. Mankind will never change, no matter how many millennia pass. You're the one who won't change. That's exactly why you hate those who try to. And why should I have to change? If I change, I lose everything. I lose my very self. 
who in their right mind would accept such a fate. That's why. You're weak, old man. The weakest of us all. You wanna kill us, huh? You're not human. Flesh eaters? We were on our way to be transferred to Indol. My sister and I, from Tantal. Sister? Here. The boy on the left? That was my driver. The right is Petroka's. Petroka. Is that her name? Yes. I'm Akos. Our drivers were brother and sister. That's why. We're siblings too, you're saying? What a dumb notion. They're them, and we're us. No relation whatsoever. Even so, these bodies contain the lives of two humans. We are connected. I don't get why you bother. Are you happy? I'm asking if it makes you happy, clinging to things like that. That I don't know. But... It's better than having... nothing. It's important to me. And that gives me a reason... to go on. To live for. Monster! How dare you? How dare you look down on me? You are mere blade whose very existence depends upon ours. Rex! He's got our cops! I'm on it! Not on my watch! This is a strange situation. Fighting so hard to save a member of Torna. Indeed, but it seemed like the right thing to do. His aim is clear, and so is ours. Thanks. Friend, welcome. Hoppy, now not time for kind manners. I believe in returning favors. You owe me for that one. Much thanks. Uh, how? Who do you people think you are? Whoa! Incorrigible welts. Why would humans side with blades? Is he slow? He thinks it's a side to pick? We share a bond, you numbskull. We're all friends here. We're in this thing together. Bonds? A friendship? With these trinkets? Uh. 
Akos! <laughs> that was surprisingly painful. If I were still a blade, this wouldn't. Join me. Huh? My name is Jin. I am just like you. You stay right there. He's human. So we should be the ones to kick his ass. I have a heart. No less human. Then you better take good care of it. That's why you came here. Right? Rex. We're gonna break the 500 year long curse right here. Yeah. Let's do it. Appropriate that I made Nia a blade for this. Yeah, got a break on Darn it. that. Get back! Break Cosmo! Stop! Break it! Oh, he almost went down the hole. Let me do it. Come on, stand up, Tora. He actually did go down the hole on the death blow. <laughs> Cannot end like this. Not until I've met the architect. Not until I've erased everything with my own hands. What? This is bad. The world tree cannot take it. How? How's that bastard? 
bastard still standing after the incredible thrashing we gave him. We must stop him. Uh. What? Jin! Ah! Ah! Uh. Mithra! Rex! Mithra. You. Don't. Don't get me wrong, okay? I couldn't let him get your core, too. That's all. With it, he'd be unstoppable. Thank you. All the cores, all the architect's words belong to me! <laughs> Nia, take care of them both. I... I will. Jin, why didn't you kill me when I joined Rex and the others? It wasn't a mistake, was it? Becoming the blade of someone you trust. Jin. I did that too, once. Rex, you have to stop Malice. He's still searching for his own identity. Tell him the answer you found. Jin. You should have died with Torna. Let's end this now. Our duty has been handed down. Amalthus! Your duty is as dust in the wind compared to my destiny. Probably. After all, Pandoria looks pretty damn human for a blade. She'd be worth a lot to some people. They sell them. Line up the cores with pretty pictures of the blade inside. It's the same as it ever was. What? As soon as people are denied something they desire, they try to take it by force. Not everyone's like that. Oh, some give up prematurely, but the feeling is there, I assure you. Well, in that case, why bother protecting them? Why not let people do whatever? To remind myself, I must never forget what kind of beings humans are. Is that what helping me was, too? Hmm. A long time ago, I seem to recall seeing a very similar scene. Hmm? Perhaps that too was one face of humanity. Why did you look so sad right then? That was you too, wasn't it? Father, why do you not answer when I call?
What a splendid soul you were, Jin. Jin. Well, they're not wrong. But it doesn't really make up for all of the terrible things he did. As understandable as it might have been, even so. Oh, what a stench! They let beggars roam free in this town? You. You're a blade, aren't you? Where's your driver? Dead drunk in a ditch? No, somehow I don't think that's it. The name's Malos. I'm the same as you. As much as I trashed on the Torna guys a couple episodes ago, they really did have a strong bond. Well, that's the end of chapter 9. And also the end of the episode. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, we start chapter 10. The final chapter of the main quest as we continue our trek up the world tree to find and stop Malos. And I'll see you then.